I will mention uh, that uh, the uh, principles, and I've mentioned principles several times uh, at this point, and I would like to give you guys a, a, a further definition of, of what those principles are. Basically, the science of behavior analysis is broken up into a variety of, of special concepts uh, that uh, have been demonstrated to actually effectively modify and change human behavior. The most basic foundation uh, related to anything in applied behavior analysis is the, the concept or principle of positive reinforcement. I, in our world as a behavior analyst, the entire world revolves around the principle of positive reinforcement. And reinforcement is simply the addition or the, the presentation of something into the environment after an individual demonstrates a behavior. And if that stimulus or that, that thing that gets presented into the environment happens to be something that that individual person likes or enjoys or they find uh, desirable, then the chances are that the behavior that immediately preceded that presentation of that stimulus is going to increase in the future under similar circumstances. So the bottom line is it's all about figuring out ways so that we can modify the environment, present stimuli and things into individuals' lives that they find desirable and to shape behavior so that it happens more and more frequently. When we practice applied behavior analysis, we're looking at two variables. Uh, and, and basically, all human behavior can be uh, dichotomized into two different categories. There are behaviors that occur way, way, way too much and behaviors that occur way, way, way too little. Um, and we refer to those behaviors that don't occur enough as basically deficits or skill deficits. And that's why we utilize the principle of positive reinforcement is to take those skill deficits, the, th the good things that people need to be doing more frequently, positive social interactions, the ability to tolerate delay of gratification, the ability to uh, pay attention and focus on a task for a long period of time. Those are what we call skills that are necessary to, to be a fully functional individual in our society. So we utilize these principles such as positive reinforcement to take these skill deficits, engineer or modify the environment, and then we insert the positive reinforcement to increase the, the demonstration of those skill deficits. What we find in the research on applied behavior analysis is that the more we reinforce the good stuff, the bad stuff or the stuff that we want to see decrease naturally starts to decrease. And so the whole field has evolved recently uh, over the last two, three decades or so about this idea of not necessarily always addressing the problems, but more so addressing the deficits that individuals have.